Welcome into this special Terp Talk Terrapin Times joint project to bring you one of the great voices of the Maryland Terrapins, Keith Cavanaugh. I'm Wayne Viner, and we're talking about the impact of the early period of National Signing Day. Of course, along with me is the aforementioned Keith Cavanaugh. Keith, you, you know Loxley pretty well. You know what he's been trying to do. You said he was the man for Maryland. How does the last 24 to 48 hours play out towards that vision that you have for Maryland? Well, Wayne, <clears throat> I've been covering Maryland football recruiting for 36 years now, not to date myself, even though I'm still only 29. I've never seen as dramatic a close as this one. Now, two years ago, we saw Rack Jarrett on this day. Mm -hmm. A year ago, we saw Terrence Lewis on these days do the major Flip Wilson moves. This year, you get three of them. You get three of your four stars, three of your four four stars total. The class goes, again, from National Signing Day Eve the night before, from 56 to 26 in the national rankings. You go from 13 kids to 20 kids. You go from 13th in the Big Ten to 6th or 7th in the Big Ten, and boom, you're nationally relevant. Where again, where 24 hours before you were saying, my gosh, is this class going to crater in the 50s or 60s? But the one caveat always is the one factor is Mike Loxley. Again, it's his relationships, his connectivity, literally burning the midnight oil that night till 2 a.m. to flip bar am. And one of the more bizarre ones, but uh, and then the cherry on the top, Octavian Smith on signing day, the four star athlete, Montgomery County player of the year, the number eight athlete in the country. So to flip those guys from some regional foes you recruit against, be it Penn State, Virginia Tech, even South Carolina now with Beamer down there, you know, of course, they went to DeMatha two years ago and got the running back, Marshawn Lloyd. So it goes on and on. So Lox knows how to get it done. He has the staff hardwired for recruiting. So, um, you know, this will finish out as a top 30 class when all is said and done. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Well, I, I love the the somewhat nonchalant. We took guys from Penn State, Virginia Tech. I am jacked that we took guys from Penn State. I mean, we needed a big time offensive lineman, yeah. and we got one. It's just that he had already committed to Penn State. That's Andre Roy from St. Francis Academy. Yeah, well, in the end, I think Penn State was a little ambivalent about Roy, uh, so he kind of slid Maryland's way. But we'll take him. That's two St. Francis guys in this class. Mm -hmm. He's 6'6", 305. We know the need for tackles out at Maryland. Um, but you're getting two St. Francis kids. You're getting two Spalding kids. You're getting a McDonough kid, a Calvert Hall kid, a Wise kid. Obviously, the keys in recruiting are how you close at the 11th hour. Check the box. Do you keep the majority of the locals that you want at home? Also, did you keep your entire class of verbals solid and committed? Minus one, A.J. Swan, the quarterback out of Georgia two weeks ago, the three-star. That was the only loss of any merit or any note throughout the whole period. Mm -hmm. Did you fill and address your needs um, as mm -hmm. far as – guys you needed, be it now or plug and play JUCOs, and how did you fare against your regional rivals? So when you put all those criteria in together, uh, they finished strong. Uh, they minded uh, the home fences. Uh, they got guys to flip. And, you know, coffee's for closers, as you know, um, and, they, and they closed it out. Um, so major props in a lot of different ways. That is vintage Keith Cavanaugh right there. Thanks for dropping in. And hopefully we get to do this uh, around the pinstripe bowl in a couple of weeks. And I'm Wayne Viner, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks for Thanks. listening.